Bless you. Thank you, Father. This is amazing. We just sit here in absolute wonder at your goodness towards us. Let me just thank you. When I did the talk on God's goodness last week, I thought I'd finished it, but he's said, no, there's a lot more. And this is part of what he has revealed to me. And I think there's going to be a lot more about his goodness that we will discover together. So uh, let us look again here. And let's follow this through. Again, we are going to break out of uh, the recording to discuss things. So it's knowing the Father. And I believe that one of the Father's desires for us is for us to be able to fulfill his plans and purposes here on earth. He works through us. And I'm just so remembering the words of Jesus, we will do greater things than these. And that is done by the Holy Spirit in us. And we have to be a channel for the Holy Spirit. And this cannot happen until, unless we are mature. And the patterns of this world in us are changed. Because they get in the way of his true purposes. When we are clouded with and Margie used this in her opening prayer, fear. That is a hindrance to him to be able to flow through us. And I'm talking about a negative fear, not a fear of the Lord, which is a reverent respect. Last week, um, I took a little nap after lunch. And as I was coming back into a, 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 a wakeful state, the father said the following. These were the words that just was there as I was in a semi-wakeful state. People do not know my goodness. So when I discipline them, train them, they think it's the devil. As a result, they do not yield to my spirit and thus never mature and become what I created them to be. And I, and I leave that for you to share uh, if you agree with that or disagree with that. I'm quite happy, but this is what just dropped into me. Um, and uh, it's this interesting aspect of they do not know my goodness. So when I discipline them, and when we look at it, and it'll come up a little later, the goodness of the Lord is about his correction. And it says here in Hebrews 5, verse 14, but solid food is for the spiritually mature, whose senses are trained. So that senses are trained is very important by practice. So it's got to do it again and again and again to fine tune ourselves to distinguish what is morally good and what is evil. And it's not what is right and wrong. So if what I believe the Father said to me is correct, I think it is very important that we have a idea what, these are just the two parts, 
what is your definition of evil? So there's a question for us, and I'm going to stop in a few moments, but start thinking, what is your definition of evil? Because if we cannot define or understand what it actually is, we often can get things a little bit mixed up. I know that when I was challenged with this thought quite a number of years ago, I can't remember how long ago, it took me a long while to try and work out what, how do you define evil? So I'm going to stop share now, and we are all going to contribute here to what do you think, how would you define evil? 